parched desert sands of ancient Osiria. Long forgotten secrets are becoming unearthed that could threaten the security of the entire region. Throughout Wati, undead uprisings and once forgotten ancient threats reveal themselves from empty graves. And only our heroes can withstand the forces of The Mummy's Mask. Previously on The Mythical Tabletop. You guys all clamor, spend a couple more minutes uh, examining it while, while Temenib was bleeding out on the other room. He's oh fine. my <laughs> gosh, he's fine. <laughs> I slay now. Like, I look so good with this weapon. I slay. How are you feeling, Temenib? I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling much much better now that I'm in safe hands now. Thank, thank you guys for coming back from you. I don't even think I could lift my axe at this point. All right, let's head back to Mausoleum then. Oh my god, Temenib! Where did you guys find him? I, I thought he died. You guys have a well night's rest on your fountains. Yay! You hear this howling, rattling oh. caca. You see the chicken swarm is already in combat with another person. Good morning, afternoon, evening, and or good night, Mithralites. It's your boy, Andrew Waba, coming at you with another episode from the Mithril Tabletop. And I just want to say, once again, as always, thank you for listening. Now, the thing I've decided I'm going to talk about this week is the chickens. These were a little homebrew monster swarm that I created for my players, and they decimated them immediately with prejudice in the very first, like, encounter of the entire podcast. I was very, very, very sad. But you know what? This week, I think I'm going to finally get my revenge. I mean, kind of. Well, I don't want to keep you guys too long. We did end on a juicy cliffhanger last week. Um, Before I continue, I want you guys all to please give us a five-star review. It really helps us so much on Spotify, on iTunes, on give us thumbs up on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, do all the social media stuff, feed the algorithm. We are slaves to the machines. But yeah, like I promised, here's episode 51, Into the Fire. So, last session... We ended a a bit on a cliffhanger. I know. Or, no. So unique for us. We try ending on a cliffhanger <laughs> or something. It's crazy. Uh, but someone popped up, kind of. She was being attacked by a bunch of chickens. And you guys thought the chicken fight was going to be the cliffhanger. I got you something better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got us someone fighting I, a chicken? Can we push them off the cliff instead? Sure. In this flat ground where there are no cliffs, go ahead and try pushing the chickens off a cliff. Let's see how that works out for you. We could create a cliff. <laughs> I mean, it is all Our a mind game, is it not? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, Our, I was talking it's all in the imagination. about a big explosion if we imagine... to create a oh, cliff that way. that's a crater. Okay. <laughs> that would be a crater. Oh, jeez. Uh, technically. That was my idea. Um, of course it is. It always is. What's your solution to anything? Blow it up. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are on whom this person is. Let's start with Aaron. Why are you going to start with me? I know I'm wrong. Now I just, gonna I just laugh randomly picked me. you. Oh, yeah. I rolled a d6. Uh-huh, right. Just kidding. Okay, yeah. so I was going to ask think... Ramses what his opinion was, but his opinion is wolf. Oh, no, no. So. It's arf, arf. Remember? <laughs> Sorry. It's arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> so I think given the fact that Habibi had a vision about this person. Mm-hmm. And the person's wearing green, knowing like mm-hmm. that's Habibi's favorite color. Um, mm-hmm. And given the picture that we we saw, I think mm-hmm. that this person is Habibi's sister, and she was riding on a horse. Interesting, interesting. Katie, I'm gonna jump to you next. So I am actually liable to agree with um, Aaron mm, interesting. that it is um, Habibi's sister. I didn't even. Honestly, didn't even remember <laughs> that Habibi's favorite color was green. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Do you know why um, Habibi's color is green? The color of life. Of Osir- Osir- Osiris. Osiris, yeah. right? Yep. Both are correct. Osiris is the lord of the living. And fun fact, Osiris' skin color is green because he, he came back he's from the dead. He's an orc? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's an orc. Oh my no, gosh. like I think this is. So I think this is really funny that ancient Egyptians decided to attribute the color green to the skin of Osiris, one of their most powerful deities. I think that's kind of funny. Like, cause like when we in our modern fantasy and like superhero stuff, we draw d- dead people coming back. They're they're usually green. greenish, mm-hmm. but 
humans have been doing green things for dead people for like thousands true, of years. True, but Egyptians were obsessed with death, so kind of makes sense. But like not in the same way that other cultures yeah, were obsessed with death. But, but I mean, we could kind of see that like connection there, maybe. Mm -hmm, for sure. Uh, okay, I'm going to jump to Tawny. Angela, whom dost thou thinketh this woman is? <laughs> So my comment to you, I literally, this is what happened. The minute that he wanted us to send a message with who we thought it was, I was like, is this Habibi's sister? The horse. She had a horse. <laughs> that was all I said. And I did not respond. Horse. <laughs> she had a horse. That's the only, like, bunch of people riding around on horses, but that woman, that woman on a horse. <laughs> She's got a horse. She's got to be Habibi's sister. <laughs> I mean, come I'm on. Sure there were, I I'm... did like the more valid reasonings behind it. No, <laughs> I, I think the horse is a good reason. <laughs> I think there I made more, more than one mental. Horse. There's more than one horse. Than no, one there's guy. just one horse. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I think got, I, I got two more people. I think I. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, it's all good. I I think I made more mental connections, like the whole like vision <laughs> that Habibi had, and then what was on the armor and stuff. No, it was just but horse. like, but. All that stuck out to me, I guess, all I wanted to get across to Wava was, it's the horse! The horse! The horse! <laughs> all and right. As long as it's not we a Trojan two... horse, we're okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, all my right. goodness. I just I just rewatched Troy, the Brad Pitt movie, uh, not too long ago. You watch that every I, I week. It. It's such a good movie. I, I It's bad, but it's so good. Uh, speaking of Ashley, since you're talking, whom thou, dost thou thinketh this woman ith? Uh, uh, me thinketh it is a mose. <laughs> you think it's a mose? Yes. Interesting. So that's four for Habibi's sister. Habibi, <laughs> whom dost thou think it is? Uh, to quote what I sent you, also, I think the green lady is Amos. <laughs> she's been asking me questions about her and stuff, so I feel like I have an advantage over everyone else. <laughs> I feel like she almost has it. Oh! Uh, uh, I, I'll be here all night. <laughs> At least for the next hour and a half. Oh Mosey man! On. Well, I'm glad that every single one of my players got the prediction correct. However, I must recant. I did promise whoever guessed <laughs> no. it correct would get a hero point, but everyone guessed it right. So I guess it was too easy and not worth a hero point. Aww. What? No, you made a promise. I did. I did. And I am nothing if it. I don't keep my words. Okay, but the <sighs> real, yeah. the real celebration as as I hate here, it, guys. The real celebration as is as much as I hate it, we're not dumb. I will give you guys, huh? I said the real celebration is we're not dumb. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yeah. that is correct. You guys are paying Just attention. Just don't, to the give, us <laughs> don't give us a puzzle. I know. Don't give us a puzzle. No puzzles. Well, as much as I hate it, I will give you guys all an extra bonus hero point. I need to be better Huzzah! about it, but I it... kept my word. Good Let boy. it be known, I am Good a GM. fair but stupid GM. I, I am fair but stupid. <laughs> no, we're all not well... dumb. We're all not dumb. That includes you. Exactly. You guys are Does all very, Ramsey's very smart. Does Ramsey's get well two hero points? No, Ramsey's Until gets you none. throw puzzles at us meant for children that we overthink continuously and still get wrong. The players may have figured out the riddle that this mysterious lady is indeed a Moe's. The characters may or may not have, uh, because, you know, you guys are about to fight some zombie chickens. And to aid in that, I need a roll-off for this week's MVP. Mm. Alyssa and Aaron, oh. roll me your d20. What? What did I do last time? I don't remember. All right. Uh, honorable mentions as we get and decide who the MVP is. So honorable mention, or, well, MVP. Well, there's only one honorable mention since you guys both got two. So the honorable mention goes to Tawny uh, for taking the lead and being our detective this session. And the MVP goes to... Da -da -da -da. Alyssa, what'd you get? I rolled a nine. <laughs> Aaron. I got 17. What'd you get? Nice. Oh. MVP goes to Aaron. <laughs> Uh, Tariq for helping with the roleplay and keeping our notes. Always very nice to have our scribe. <laughs> and then MVP for Tariq. Great roleplay this last session. Loved the note. And <laughs> always. was always... Oh, sorry. And always a way to be a real hero, leaving those health potions for those in need. Honorable mentions go to Habibi for that absolutely hilarious daddy mummy joke. <laughs> Talk to your humor right there. <laughs> Strongly disagree. But anyways... <laughs> Honorable mention to Habibi for all his hilarious one-liners, comebacks, and puns. 
Oh, well done, everyone. <laughs> Alyssa says one one-liner and gets two votes right there. I know. There. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's my active well, role play, okay? Oh, my God. Well done. I appreciate it. All right. So, Aaron, you get three this session. Never happening ever again. Alyssa, Katie, Ashley, and, and I'll Angela. I'll probably not use a single two. one. We'll see. <laughs> Well, it's I don't combat, know. This is combat. So. I don't know. Exactly. Yes, at least combat. It's yeah. That's true. That's true. The chickens are back. I think I'm the only one who hoards them. Probably. All right. So you guys uh, are walking down the street. You suddenly hear this clucking of these ghoulish chickens. They, you approach them and there's this swarm of clucking chicken. Their flesh is peeling off. Their feathers are almost non-existent. Some of their eyeballs are popping off. And running back and forth is this armored white horse. And uh, riding the horse is this woman clad in green. And as you guys are getting a closer look, her breastplate is not metallic at all, nor is her shield. They're both made out of wood. Now, if you'd be so kind, why don't you guys all roll me initiative? Off to a great start, guys. Nat one. Me too. Man. My chickens also rolled a natural one. I rolled wow. four. <laughs> Oh, oh well. no. I rolled above a five. Oh, oh look at you. Got Two weeks six. in a row. <laughs> I got a Congratulations. six. Guys, we Wait, leave. hold on. I need to go through this because I think everyone rolled garbage. I rolled a natural one and got 16. <laughs> Katie, what did you get? Uh, I rolled a six and got a 15. Oh, wow. You just have bad in uh, perception. Tariq, what did you get? I, I rolled four and got 15. You got a 15. And Kepri, what did you get? I rolled a one and got a 14. <laughs> All right, so Kareth and Tariq, you decide in the comments who goes to first. Uh, but yeah, everyone rolled garbage, apparently, because the highest is 21 and the lowest is 14. Um, oh, I'm the lowest. Right. Oh, no. This bodes well for us, you guys. Doesn't Kareth Habibi... have a feat that he goes first or something? <laughs> that's true, he does. But it's only when he ties with enemies. Oh, um, well, he can go first. That's okay. Habibi, it is your turn. You get to go first. What would you like to do? I would like to be like, oh, my gosh, she's wearing the ram and the green from my dream, but... Is is that who I think it is? Is that she looks like um a mouse kind of? And then he sees the chickens and he's like, oh oh no, not these guys again. Okay, first action. I'm going to move here. Uh here, meaning I'm running over in front of this stand that is just slightly north of the the swarm of zombie chickens. I'm about fifteen feet away from them. As you enter and get closer to the to the chickens, their loud cacophony, <laughs> if you remember, is a thing. Uh, it is loud and deafening, and it almost leaves you a little, like, disoriented and confused, as if you're overstimulated. Why don't you roll me a will save? Oh, no. Not ADHD oh, no. again. <laughs> not ADHD, <laughs> ADHD hits hard, again. guys. It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, ADHD does not win this time. I rolled a oh, 16 okay. on the Stop die focus. for 29. A twenty nine is sufficient. You are no, lo you're not affected by them, and in fact, you are immune from their effect. Uh, take that, you zombie chickens! <laughs> <laughs> Balking up okay. the wrong tree here. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> out of here. Sorry. Their balk is worse <laughs> no, than not. their bite, or maybe oh it's the god. other way around. Oh my god! This is beak comedy, guys. Beak comedy. <laughs> oh I'm my sure god! You all these puns last yeah, we time did. Too. <laughs> we probably did. Oh. Oh <laughs> okay, so. He so is bad, all of them. <laughs> going to use Vitality Lash because they're definitely undead. You don't know that. Don't... <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I if thought they were described as zombie chickens. chickens. <laughs> Just roll your Literally thing. Literally flesh. Okay. Do I get a fortitude save out of them. that? Yeah, you get a basic fortitude save. All right, fantastic. Uh, D I didn't roll well. DC 21. I got a 15, so that's a failure. Yes. That is 17 points of vitality damage. And they take 17 points of vitality damage. All right, well done. That is the end of your turn. We move on to the green lady. She rears her horse back. It, like, neighs back. And she, like, uh, pats it. like, good job, Hathor. And then she uh, looks up and she sees you guys coming. And her eyes kind of widen briefly as she charges forth and strides through the chicken swarm. Um, using her trusty steed. Uh, and as she does so, she's going to do a pass-by attack on the chicken swarm. She brings down her uh, her kopesh and rolls a 30. 
for the hit, she's going to deal 11 points of slashing damage, which the chicken does not seem to be as affected with. Hathor's second action, it's going to do a hoof strike. They share multiple attack penalty, so this is going to be a critical miss with a 13 total. And then finally, ha uh, the green lady is going to go her final action. Hmm. What is she going to do? She's going to cry out and say, uh, By the power of Osiris, I shall smite thee, ghoulish chickens. And that's going to be her turn. Dang, her roleplay is better than mine. <laughs> uh, all right, we move on to Tawny. Tawny, is your turn. <sighs> it's going to take me two actions to get over here. Oh, no, you poor thing. That was crazy. Because I don't have fleet feet. I don't have fleet feet. Um, okay, well, I'm going to be running by um, the horse. Um, and as I walk by, I'm going to be like, that horse looks familiar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that horse. Why don't you roll me a will save against the cacophony that you just entered in? Yeah, I know. The babox. The babox. The babox. The babox. Um, I'm going to re-roll it because I mm -hmm. got a six on the die for a 17. Use those hero points. You guys got them. Yeah, yeah. we do. No chickens taking us down today. Much better. <laughs> oh, you don't know that. 18 on the die for a 29. A 29 is sufficient. You succeed and are immune to the effect. Okay, so as I come down with my weapon, I am going to be... I'm bringing down the hammer because I noticed um, as I was approaching and the green lady slashed that it didn't look like she did a whole lot of damage. At least it appeared that way. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm gonna take my chance with some smashing. It's some smashing. Instead of some slashing. Uh, smashing. I got a 12 on the die for a 26. A 26 is a hit. Roll your damage damage emotional damage <laughs> emotional damage 17 points all right you notice that it deals uh it seems to be just as effective at destroying these ghoulish chickens as uh, the green lady's kopesh strike you bring down your hammer and it kind of like smashes one or two chickens but there's so many of them they're skirting around it's uh it's hard to get to just really nail them all right my turn the ghoulish chickens are going to go, and they stride oh, he forth. He actually gets a turn. <laughs> I know. I, I, it's the first time. So they stride forth to fully envelop Hathor, the Green Lady, and Tawny. And as they do so, their cacophony comes closer to Kepri, Tariq, no, and Karen. No. I need all... Th yes. <sighs> yes. I need all three of you to roll me will saves. Does that count Ramses too? I'm actually in range of this. Ramses <gasps> is just outside the reach. Okay, gotcha. I think I'm okay. Katie, that sounds either good or bad. There's no in between. That's definitely a bad. <laughs> that's a definitely bad. No, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. This I can never tell. All right, let's start with the top and going to the bottom. Aaron, what did you get? Gotta keep you on your toes. I got 19 total. Uh, nah. Ashley, what did you get? A 24. A 24. Interesting. Interesting. And finally, oh, Katie, what did you get? I got a natural 20 for All a 29. All right. Okay. Katie, uh, <laughs> Kareth is immune. Capri, you barely <laughs> succeeded, Yay. so you're immune. And the only person who failed is oh. Tariq. Tariq, Oh, he's no. definitely ADHD, so that's not <laughs> shocking. <laughs> Tariq, you are now confused for one round and okay. deafened for a minute as this cacophony huh? is so... Yeah, thank you. Very funny. All right. <laughs> Well, he's even he's especially confused. He's dazed now. and confused. <laughs> Not dazed yet. I'll get there. All right. So the first action they strode forward. Second action they are going to do this thrashing flutter as they flap their wings. I need Tawny, the Green Lady, and Hathor to roll me a reflex save. Fun fact: because the Green Lady is mounted on a horse, she is counted as having partial cover, so she gets a plus one bonus to this reflex save. The more you know. Um, all right. Let's start with Tawny. What'd you get? Um, I rolled a five on the die for a 12, but I'm going to use my cat's luck. <gasps> Ooh, um, look at that ability. So that I can re-roll a reflex um, without using a hero point. Well done, well done. Man, I gave you guys all the hero points. Y'all didn't even need it. Oh my gosh. I, I rolled <gasps> better. <laughs> 
<laughs> Better. What'd you get? A seven on the die for a 14. A 14 is insufficient. You are clumsy one. Oh, hey, look, you already were. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the green lady and Hathor both failed. They are also both clumsy one now. Um, I think I gave both those clumsies on Hathor, my bad. Uh, and then finally, with its final action, it will do a swarming peck strike. All of the chickens here, they all swarm around uh, Tawny and the green lady and her horse. And I need all of you guys to roll me yet another reflex save. Um, and while that happens, I'm going to trigger Wounded Rage to read. Tawny, what'd you get? A natural 20. Natural 20, you're fine. Hathor rolled a 20 total for a failure, and the Green Lady rolled a 20 for a failure as well. They're going to take full damage. You are critically succeed. You are going to take uh, no damage. So they're going to take 17 points of piercing damage. And they are both sickened one as the disease kind of infects them. All right, Kareth, it is your turn. First action, Kareth is moving uh, to the south to be next to this swarmy thing. Um, second action, we are going to attempt an overdrive. So let me roll my crafting check. And that is exactly a success, barely. So let me drag that on. All right, and then final action, I'm just going to attack it normally. Oh! <laughs> Uh oh. Yes, the streak is broken. Oh no. What'd you get? <sighs> Natural 20 for a 34. <sighs> that's a crit. Of course, that's a crit. <clears throat> that <laughs> is a total of 39 points of Jesus damage. Christ. 39 points of damage. Ooh, right. wait, I think I rolled really well. I think you did. Good job, Kara. Yeah, on right. my deadly D8, I rolled a 7. Nice. So. All right, all right. right. So um, the lowest roll was a 2. These chickens are starting to look a little scattered. They're starting to look a little, uh, you know, dis. Confi discombobulated, disconfigured. They're not all there now. Some of them are starting to scatter and run away, but the swarm is still maintaining its uh, its consistency. I'm trying to think of the words. I'm very tired. My words are failing. It's discombobulated. Discombobulate. Uh, Discombobulate. Sherlock Holmes shows up. That, however, <laughs> is not all that happens to them. Oh. Because oh, since it was a crit, oh. my critical specialization also goes into effect. <gasps> so his spear has like stabbed through like probably a couple of the chickens <laughs> uh, causing them not to be able to move as much. So they are also clumsy one until the start of my next turn. So I think your your spear like stabbed through and they kind of like spread out and dis, uh, dis, disparate, dis, disperse. 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 I'm trying. There you There's go. There's this word That's I'm the thinking. Word. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's not quite dispersed, but ah, never mind. It might be dispersed. Maybe I'm just stupid. But they, they kind of disperse a little bit, and that re effectively translates to them being clumsy one. They're not in Dissipate. their formation. Maybe? I think that's probably it. Ah, I win. Cookie for right. me. Hero point? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, Tariq. It is. Oh, my gosh. Shut this up. is so funny. Hero point? <laughs> Tariq. Mine, 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 mine. Shut mine, up. Mine. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Tariq, why don't you roll me a D8? Why? <laughs> because you're confused. You don't know who you should attack. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot Why you roll about your that. D8? Let's, re let's right. remind the audience what confusion I does. Did, I forgot about that or else I would have <laughs> zero pointed. You use all your actions to strike and cast offensive spells uh, and cantrips. Though the GM can have you use other actions to failsafe these attacks, such as draw a weapon, move close to uh, to a target in reach, and so on and so forth. Uh, all right, let's see. The chickens were one, you right? Attack. Yes, they are. Uh, they are. Did, yes, I rolled a roll? one. You rolled a one. <laughs> I rolled a one. Well, I said I the did. chickens are one of the options, but a one. No. A one is a <laughs> I different. I said the chickens are one. <laughs> a, a, a one is a different animal within reach. Uh -huh. What? No, uh -huh. it's not Ramsey. You. Target Ramsey. Oh my god, you tr are oh really no. trying to kill my dog. I'm not the one who rolled to kill it. That's your brother. All right, Tariq, <laughs> go for it. Lay away at Ramsey's. Throw your best attacks at Ramsey's. 
Um, so I'm gonna. So I have to attack him. You have to attack him. I have to. And Capri's, you have to. Capri's watching Tariq look really confused, and then all of a sudden, <sighs> I Ramsey's, okay. and she starts going, Tariq, no! Hmm. Okay. Ramsey's looks like hmm. a giant chicken. <laughs> yeah, he just turned into a giant chicken <laughs> who's living, but it's I okay. Have, I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. Mm hmm. I can Should feel I the rules lawyer in Should you I already. Like, you're <laughs> Should I waste this? Your oh, honor, no. I approach the bench. I need to discuss something with you. All right, what, what do you have in mind? I'm just going to do I'm gonna do a basic staff attack. All right. That, that's Sorry, fine. buddy. Okay. Go ahead and smack smack at Ramses. Oh, oh, yes, yes. He rolled a 16. That is not a <laughs> 16 hit. 16 total? Only a two on the die. Woo! He All only got right. 16. Well, you still got two more actions. Keep going. His Come heart on, was, done. Uh, his heart wasn't in it. His heart wasn't in it. He, he like somehow right, senses so this is wrong. Multiple attack penalty. <laughs> You're um, so excited for this now. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. What'd you roll? <laughs> Dang you, Tariq. <laughs> it was a 19 on the die for a 29. Oh, a 29? Not a crit, but yes, a hit. Oh damn. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> Bad damage, Tariq. Bad damage. Your heart's not in it. Yeah, that was not too bad. It was. It a six on the die for ten. Okay, we can do ten. We can do ten. That's fine. Last okay, action. Right. Come on, natural twenty. Natural I have twenty. To Use one of your I hero have points. To? <laughs> yes, you do. Why would she use, use one a of my hero, hero point to hurt Ramses? I because she has three of them. <laughs> no, Andrew. <laughs> oh my God, Drake. <laughs> What'd you roll? Go Stop on. it. Go on. Why you're wasting all these good rolls? <laughs> That's how that I got works. Got an eighteen on the die for twenty-four total. That hits. Yes, Andrew, I'm sorry. you booty butt. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> okay, well that was fourteen damage, and you see like uh, Tariq do like the final strike on on Ramses, and his eyes kind of like clear and adjust, and he goes, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, boy. I'm so sorry." And Capri like, is like mid trying to grab Tariq to stop him, but she's too short and she's glaring. <laughs> what if she was like? What if she like grabbed his staff and like he was still swinging, but she yeah, was he like swings swinging with her with on it. it. <laughs> I mean, your strength is plus four. Hers is plus one. You can't, you can't, she can't resist you. And Ramses, meanwhile, is like attacking or ready to attack these chickens. But then his ears go back. His tail goes behind his legs. Like, Why are you attacking me? I don't like this. You make me a villain. I don't like it. Uh, I mean, don't, am I immune now? now or yes, do I have you are to do no longer still? confused, but your ears are still ringing. This confusion is still overwhelming you. You are still deafened. So when you cast spells, it's going to be interesting. But everything else is fine. Capri, it is now your turn. Capri, Capri's sad, but Capri's good. Capri didn't take any uh, issues from the chickens. Capri's first action is she's gonna move a little closer to these dumb chickens. Burk, burk. Burk, burk, burk. And then she's gonna use a spell called Vitality Lash. <laughs> I rolled much better against you, Capri, than I did Habibi. 28, is that a crit? That is not a crit. I, I don't I don't know why I'm asking. I know it's not. I know you guys are in the 20s now. <laughs> All right. How much damage am I taking, though? Um, You are going to take eight damage. I take four points of damage because I succeeded. All right. Ramses gets one action. What does he want to do? Attack Tariq back for revenge, right? No. Ramses is just going to stay back. <laughs> All right, Habibi. It is your turn. All right. I am going to... Okay. Okay. I cast Vitality Lash. Vitality Lash. All right, all right, all right. I got a fortitude save, right? I know the drill. I know the drill. 23. Uh, Take half of 17. So eight? <laughs> that is a really good roll. Damn. All right. You got one action remaining. What would you do or what would you like to do? Um, I guess I could learn about these chickens. Oh, <gasps> you can. Roll me a religion check. Oh, well, of course, sir. I love religion. Um, all right. Well, I'll be honest. You guys kind of already know everything about the ghoul, uh, these ghoulish chickens. They're ghoulish, so their swarming picks add the second con uh, condition. Um, but the, uh, you guys already know about the cacophony. It confuses you if you start or end your turn in the cacophony. And if you succeed, you're immune. So when Tariq starts his turn, he'll get another roll. Um... But actually, no, he's deafened, and it's an auditory Wait, trait. I was like, uh, yeah, he's immune I was to it. Like, he can't hear their cacophony anymore. <laughs> um, 
the they have thrashing flutter you guys already saw that in action and they have swarming pecs uh unfortunately that is pretty much everything there is swarming so, pecs. Move on. so you can't swarming pecs you can't tell me what a weakness would be not with that role oh well fudge we move on to hathor uh, sorry, uh, not Hathor. The Green Lady. <laughs> the horse she is, is go going now, everybody. <laughs> the, the horse is going. Well, kind of, because I was thinking she's going to spend well, an well, action well, to hold command. Hold your horses. <laughs> oh, 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 get the fuck out of here. Uh, she's going to command Hathor, and uh, she's going to go, Hathor, support me now! And she's going to charge ahead. Hathor adds to um, uh, to the Green Lady's momentum. I, I don't know why I'm hiding it. You guys already know who she is. And... She's going to try and target this chicken swarm with a plus bonus to their uh, to her damage die if she hits. Let's roll that attack roll. I rolled 24 for a hit. She's going to deal some damage, and this damage is going to be quite a bit higher. Uh, not that much higher. It's only like uh, 13 instead of 11. Okie dokie. So that... Uh, and then she has uh, two more actions because Hathor used its action to move. Let's see here. The green lady is instead going to cast a spell. She's going to try and lay on hands on these ghoulish chickens. Watch these hands. <laughs> Watch these hands. The chickens get a fortitude save. They roll to 23, so they succeeded, but they're still going to take some damage. They take four points of vitality damage. And with her uh, final action, she is going to... Nope, that's all her actions. I lied. Carry on. We're going to move on to Tani. Please return. Um, am I flanking with Carrot in my position right now, or do I need to take a step back? Technically, yes, you are. Heck yeah, go, Tawny. But if it's a swarm, is there actual flanking? Uh, th some swarms will say they're immune to uh, these conditions. This one, for example, is immune to precision and prone and stuff like that, but it's not immune to off guard. Okay. These chickens seem to be very uh, one-track minded. They're very focused on things, so they can be distracted and off guard. Nice, 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 nice. I enjoy this. <laughs> um okay i'm going to attack um a six on the die for a 20 I think. a 20 total is unfortunately insufficient uh, there's too many you slam down you see chunks of stone come out of the ground underneath you but the chickens got out of the way just in time there's feathers and bird wings flying all over the place katie give me my goddamn rolls back <laughs> I did nothing. Only Stop one Texan me for can roll well. Luck. We can't have both. I rolled a two on the die for an eleven. <laughs> Give them yeah, back. Yeah, I'm moving on. Huh? Give it you got one action back. Left. How's it feel? Give it one action your turn. Left. Give it back. I took the good luck back. Uh, it's my turn. Third attack. I rolled an eight on the die for a twelve. It's my turn with the brain cell. Uh, all right. How about this for the brain cell? Uh, the ghouls are going to move closer to you. No, no I, I, I insist. Not me. Thrashing flutter. All three of you, Habib, yeah. Kepri, and Kareth, roll me that reflex save, por favor. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tawny. <laughs> You're just going to have bad luck all day. Do I roll no, it too? No, I'm going to use a hero yeah. point on mine. All three. Okay, Kepri, okay. Habibi, and Kareth. Okay, Katie just, oh, rolled, Katie just rolled really bad. Mm. So that maybe, means maybe you have the good luck again. That's clearly I how have this works. the brain cell now. <laughs> oh no! All right, I am Top gonna to hold on. Before Alyssa. you say anything, oh. I'm re-rolling using a hero point. I rolled a two. No, nah, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, not not gonna work. Oh, I rolled a nat twenty. Ha! Okay, all right. I wish my luck could be that back and forth. <laughs> Alyssa, what did you get? Um, I rolled a thirteen for a total of twenty-two. A 22 is a failure. Yeah. Katie, what did you get? <laughs> that doesn't look well. So originally, before the hero point, I had rolled a natural one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Used a yeah. hero point and rolled, you guessed it, boys, a five for a 16, which a is 16. at least a failure. A 16 is definitely a failure. Not quite a critical yeah. failure. You guys both failed. Kepri obviously critically succeeded. So you guys are going to take 11 points of piercing damage and you are sickened one. <gasps> Thankfully, none of no, you guys critically no, failed. Not again. Not again. <laughs> It'll feel good. Is it, is it, it, Phil, is it Phil's is fever so again? Gross. 
No, this is just the sickened condition. It's not an official disease. Uh, these things are near death, though, so Karith, uh, maybe you can kill them before Tariq starts. Karith, kill them! They're yucky! <laughs> Do I have permission? Pakak, 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 pakak! Permission and Do consent. Do I have permission? Permission there is, is granted. A spot. No, no, no. Look, use your brain. You can move here and then explode from there and be fine for everyone. <laughs> Do I have your permission? Oh, here? It's not as fun if you don't blow up the I know, <laughs> but there's so much space here. This is a huge swarm for context, by the way, like people. Like, it's what binds you. <laughs> there's so right much here? space. Yeah, because so it's, bottom... it's a five-foot emanation, right? I assume you're trying to explode, yeah. right? Yes. That's it's not five... 10 feet just yet. All right, So and you can choose once it gets to 10 feet, by the way, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so you can always choose a five-foot bird. Just find a place where you're not adjacent to anyone and just go boom. <clears throat> All right, first action, move, step, 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 move, step. Yeah, be because to the storms south. are known to have reactions. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> step to the south, so I am on its bottom right uh, corner. And final two actions, we shall explode. Explode? So I need a dc20 basic reflex save from your chicken and luckily for me i just finished being clumsy from your critical specialization but i don't think this is a crit i rolled a 25 uh that is a success so you will still take half damage Let all right roll it roll the damage 16 points of cold damage all right they take half but being an area effect they exactly. take extra damage on top of that I know. That was the whole point. <laughs> well done, well done. They are definitely near death. They're in the single digits of hit points. But some chickens refuse to be destroyed. And they cluck ever louder. Tariq, unfortunately, you can't hear this. Hold on, I gotta do my unstable check. Hold on. Uh, yes, I'm so sorry. Ah! <laughs> no! no! It's a d20. I could use a hero point on that. Hold on. You can. Are you sure you want to use it? I'm doing oh. it. I got a natural 20. I'm fine now. All right, all right. Tariq, hey, hey, it's your turn. And you got the full round, but it's hard to hear. So every time you try to cast a spell, for example, you seem to, like, fumble over your words. And you get a DC 5 flat check to cast any spell. But it is your turn, and you have control of your body again. What would you like to do? I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. So he's going to move up to this chicken. He's not going to use the spell. Because he sees they're about done. So he's just going to... He's going to put a stick in them. Schmack Man, that it. sounds wrong. <laughs> he's going to... I was trying to go, like, put a fork in them, but no. <laughs> he's going to hit him with just the staff. <laughs> staff away? What'd you get? <sighs> um, I'll let you know after my hero point. <laughs> yeah, I love how you said I'm never going to use a hero point. <laughs> Immediately, first roll. Oh, oh, oh! Nat 20 on the hero point oh for God. a total of 30 friggin' 4. Your no, chicken are dead. I'm not, should I even roll the damage? Should, no, I, should I even roll no, the damage? No, they had 5 hit points. They're very, 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 very just dead. Just so we can see. I just want to roll the damage to see what it was. All right, go for it. I just want to see what it was. All right. Oh, that was kind of pathetic. It would have been 22, and then I would have shoved them 10 feet away. <laughs> a bunch of chickens, like, flying 10 feet away in the air. All right. Well, they do take the damage, and as they succumb, uh, the, the last chicken kind of, like, flies out, its wings and feathers and bones flying everywhere. Um, you see the green lady. She kind of, like, brings her sword down, and she kind of, like, looks at you guys, and she's, uh, like, squinting her eyes, but uh, it's kind of hard to see with her mane of hair and her mask in front of her face kind of, like, obscuring a little bit. Like, what do you mean by she brings her sword down? Like, because uh, she was uh, like at uh, resting, or yeah, like, it's it's like down, it but down not to, like, Aim at us. It's, okay, it's down right. behind her, like next to her, but she it's not sheathed yet. She's just kind of like looking at you guys. Uh, Tariq's gonna, I guess, move up closer. <laughs> oh wait, actually, no. Tariq is while you guys take care of that. Tariq's gonna come up to Ramses and make his apologies. While they're doing that, can I get a, since we're close enough to her, can I, like, really look at her and see, like, yeah, like, us as the players know who she is, but Tani as the character would like to examine her a little bit closer, because as she walked by the horse, she's like, that horse looks familiar. Uh, yeah, roll me a perception check. Okay, while well, she's doing that, um, I am over... Inside the chicken swarm, I'm gonna retch <laughs> the chicken corpses. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up. 
All right, uh, Tawny, you, uh, as, like, the chickens kind of, like, uh, fall down, you kind of, like, look over, and a mo- uh, damn it, the green lady, whatever, you guys know it's a mo- the green lady, she kind of, uh, she is, like, looking at Habibi, and she's paying extra close attention. Maybe this, like, sets you off, because, like, you're very protective of Habibi, uh, but as she notices you're staring at her, and, like, you have, like, the, th- the, the thin- slits the cat eye slits and you're like really focused in on her she like uh gasps a little bit as she realizes that um you're staring at her and she quickly reaches into her pouch pulls out a small black bead throws it on the ground and you see this puff of smoke explode out from where she was and a few seconds later as the smoke dissipates she vanishes where'd she go coward oh man and i was just throwing up i didn't get a chance I, Habibi, I, I, I think that was your sister. But can we be sure? Would she, would she do something this reckless? That's why. So the only clues that I have is like, it looked like her, like, cause I've seen her like with like a mask, like, uh, you know, like the, uh, the traditional Masquerade thing mask. Yeah, yeah like that kind no, of thing the facial like, covering like the cloth yes. drape yeah yeah so like i've seen her like that and her eyes looked familiar um and then the horse the horse is what really got me because your father just <laughs> showed that freaking horse off for so long that uh, i just but again like you said would your sister actually be that reckless but she is missing so <gasps> this person didn't steal the horse and hurt a mouse, right? If it if that wasn't a mouse, then it's someone impersonating her for sure. Surely Habibi would recognize his sister's voice, though. But did she talk? Uh, you about to say did she talk? Yes, several a times. times yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's like Batman where he makes his voice all do. Yep. Oh no. I gotta kill the chicken swarms. <laughs> Onwards, Hathor! And on top of it, when you're, you know, really, really nervous, you're not really paying that much attention. Well, yeah, oh, we were in the sure. middle of a and, fight, and, the and there was a lot of, like, chickens mm-hmm. clucking and zombie yeah, cool exactly. stuff going it on. It is loud. Oh. Chickens, good God. They're silent now. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know. I was attacking <laughs> my silent sister. Silent. That was, that was pretty good. Also that was deafened, really good. So it's okay. But, like, that was really whether good. That was good. it's on those or not, I know that's the person that was sent to me in my dream. And it's crucial for me, I think. I think it's crucial. I mean, I dreamed about it. Osiris wouldn't give me a dream for nothing. The directions were to follow, right? I think it was find me or find the green ram or something like that. I think it was find me. Like, I totally wasn't expecting it to be a woman. For some reason, I was expecting it to be, like, an old man. An actual ram? No! <laughs> Well, like, you know, rams kind of, I don't know, symbolize old, wise men. I'll follow your lead on this, Habibi. If you want to try to figure out where she went, we can. But I I feel like she's got some skills in her rep- repertoire that is going to make tracking her a little difficult. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's the most important thing right now we can put it on our list of to-dos <laughs> your long list of to-dos well if uh, maybe yeah maybe pray to Osiris and see if he can give you a little bit more guidance on if we should like if if we need to be tracking her like if it needs to be moved to the top of our list or well, I guess he would want us to handle the undead around here. Well, I mean, on the bright side, she, that lady can definitely take care of herself, my sister or not. So I'm not concerned about her safety. And it looks like she's trying to help destroy the undead. So win-win. If we keep on doing what we're doing, we will, we might run into her again. Well, uh, I guess we just continue on with our adventure and Osiris will bring you two together if Osiris plans it that sounds good to me so septi told us to go to the courthouse and to go to the gate and i think we decided on the courthouse first because it's on the way to the gate yes okay all right uh you guys court is now in session (laughs) court is now in session (laughs) dun dun you guys 
The uh, people are real. The dun, cases dun. are real. <laughs> 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 Judgment right. is final. This oh, one. Oh, they they take their eyes. Overruled. Sorry, that's, that's, quite, that's Judge Judy. I was say, someone uh, Judge watches Judge Judy. <laughs> I love Judge Judy. Not the new one, the old good ones. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. on the sick days when you stay home from school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was my favorite. All right, so you guys take a few minutes to heal up uh, as you guys are, like, talking about uh, what's going on. And you make your way uh, to the courthouse. You guys were pretty close to it anyways to begin with. But as you get closer, uh, you hear... Um, some uh some screaming and out from the the steps you see this bloodied and beat up um old man and he's kind of like r- running out from the steps like don't don't go in there run save yourselves he took my eye what he took my eye oh no oh, wait you don't have an eye yeah you look up he's covering his uh his left side of his eye and I there's see, blood I see. <laughs> really really <laughs> Sorry. And there's blood gushing down his eye, and he's like holding his hand to his eyes. Like, he took my eye. He took my eye. He said I was guilty. Ah! And he like tries to like stumble off and like tries to run away. Cause, guilty you know, of what? Guys, I think we're in the right place. For the for the one <laughs> the old eye taker? I, yeah, I think so. Should we help that guy? I mean, he's literally eyeless. No, he's I think he's running he away. He has panic, one eye. So. He has he has his right eye. He's bleeding. He could bleed out. Uh, hopefully he's going to the mausoleum. <laughs> <laughs> How's wow. he going to see it? <laughs> With his right I eye. Put restoration on him, Kareth. <laughs> what if he was blind in the <laughs> other eye? What if he had the cataracts? <laughs> well, then he's screwed. He's probably going to be undead food. So, but we have a job to do. Chop, chop. Let's go. We, our job we to have to go people. in here with a guy who's stealing eyeballs. Kepri's like thinking, I like my eyes. Well, have you done anything to deserve your eye being pulled out? Oh, uh... That's arbitrary. <laughs> you have nothing against my client. <laughs> <laughs> Objection. At, uh, at Tawny saying that, Kareth kind of like pales a little bit and takes a couple steps back and he's like on second thought maybe we should go back to the mausoleum it's late i can handle it <laughs> it's like 11 in the morning <laughs> it's late what could you yeah, be afraid exactly. of kareth come on i'm just so <laughs> this is this is coming from angela like in my mind everyone has done some kind of crime but it like there's a i have us in a list um, of who's like done more serious crimes, and Kareth was like in the middle, but now he's at the very bottom. <laughs> like, why is he so terrified? <laughs> I had Kepri at the bottom for that thief, the thieves tool thing. Who's at the top? Who's at the top? Uh, me and uh, Habibi right now, like we're tied because the most that we've done is like break into the um. Trespassing, yeah, breaking and entering yeah. is Wait, kind of okay, like... so the top of the list is the least guilty? Yes. <laughs> it's backwards, oh, but okay. So I'm okay. <laughs> so Kareth or you thought that Kepri so, was more guilty than Tariq? Kepri's kind of a nut. So <laughs> so the reason why I thought Kepri was more guilty than a Tariq. Thief. <laughs> yes, because I'm like, what did she actually do? Did was she like an is she a trained assassin? Is that what her family does? <laughs> Yes, the person who the person who tries to get a jackal to run away because she doesn't want to kill it. She's definitely a I only killer. save hey. animals. I don't save. I don't save exactly. I guess, I guess that's an animal. I don't know. And then like Tariq, Tariq has been very upfront with like his past life. You know, before he got into Kepri's family. So like. He was down there, but then I had Kareth because I was like, okay, Kareth has lived a long time. I'm sure he's had to do some shady things, but he's, I don't think he's ever been arrested. And then he makes this comment about like wanting to go back to the mausoleum because she's apparently- getting him side eye. <laughs> now she's getting him side eye. <laughs> oh God. Making a, making a note. You see <laughs> Tawny pull out this like little notebook and then like write something in it. <laughs> Okay, we can keep going. <laughs> or what if she just what if she just nudges T- Tariq and she goes, "Put that, put that down, put that down." Okay, we've killed people in self defense, but I don't know what this eye taker is gonna think of that. 
Why are we worried about what he's going to do? I don't aren't know. We should worry about what we're going to do. His name is Kai Taker. He needs to stop Tariq taking is, eyes. Tariq is heading into the courthouse. Oh, God. Tariq. <laughs> uh, Habibi is following him okay. very confidently. All right. It's always dumb and dumber. <laughs> Every guys... standing here shaking, petting Ramses. And y'all are overthinking this. <laughs> as, you guys, this as you guys step into just, the courthouse. I'll... I'll wait outside. We're coming. Uh, we're coming. So everyone really? except for Kareth. Tawny, Tawny is going to be dragging Kareth along like, come uh, on. This is a terrible idea, we, Tawny. We so, need our explosive. So <laughs> Kareth on, is wrong? dragging his nails in the sand and <laughs> Tawny is dragging him. He's like, no, you can't make me. She's like, no, you're coming with us. He's like, no. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Oh. I'm not ready for this. You guys come up to the doors, and the doors are shut. There are these big, large, lacquered uh, uh, wooden doors. And as you guys push open the uh, the brass handles, these large doors swing inwards, and you see this large, uh, lavish courtroom. And uh, within, there is, like, tossed seats left and right, papers spewing about, and blood covering every surface that you can uh, look at. It's not, like pure red but there's like splotches of blood everywhere um clearly this place is uh not literally an active courtroom anymore as you guys walk in uh Sotin Ray is already at his judge's bench and he uh is leaning over to his side and it looks like he's talking to someone but as you guys look over to his side there doesn't seem to be anyone there and then suddenly he looks up and his hollowed eyes, they have these pale blue lights that kind of like look towards you as if like his eyes uh, look at you. And he goes, ah, more people here to see justice. Come, come, welcome to my court. Court is now in session. Oh, no, don't say that. And we'll see you guys next Tony, week. Tony, no. I can't get out of this no. now. I object. I object, I object to that Overruled. Sustain no. the motion no. carries. We can't Overall. be sustained until guilty. Next week, guilty of all charges. Oh shit, we're all losing an eyeball. <laughs> also, also, if you sustain something, Wabba, that means that you accept their objection. <laughs> 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 Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If you liked what you heard, then please like, share, or subscribe to The Mithril Tabletop. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, and Instagram. Or always feel free to email us at themithraltabletop at gmail.com. We'll see you next week. Music and sound effects are provided to you by Envato Elements. The Mummy's Mask is copyright 2014. Mummy's Mask images, characters, and artwork are a trademark of Paizo Incorporated.